Let's go. Yeah. Oh, yo, sorry, y'all. Yo, shout out to all the epic people in this room. I hope y'all feeling great and fantastic. Um, y'all know y'all vibing out with astrologer. I hope y'all feeling wonderful today. Um, y'all, um, let's get into this age of enlightenment because, yeah, what I'm trying to tell y'all is right now we are low key in the age of enlightenment. Um, Neptune is in Pisces. Okay. Now, y'all, I know this might, y'all might be like, yo, what is the, what is the age of enlightenment? What is this? Don't, don't worry. I got you, baby. <laughs> I got you, baby. We're going to get all the way in tune with this. And, um, yeah, right now we have Jupiter and Neptune in Pisces. Okay. And tomorrow, listen, if you're in this room, I need I need to know that you have been having great dreams. Like with this Piscean energy, we're supposed to be having expansive dreams. All right, you're supposed to be expanding upon your 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 philosophical values. Um, if you are religious, you're supposed to be expanding upon your religious principles and mixing it in with some spirituality. Because Pisces govern spirituality. Yeah, make sure if you're in this room, make sure you go on my website and pre-order my new book, Astrostetics, because we go all the way in with stuff like this. Okay? Now, y'all, um, j just to give you a preface, right? When you're dealing with spirituality, you spirituality is something that you feel like when you listen to music, when you meditate, when you have like even a, a outer body experience, these, these things are, are invisible or they, they happen on a plane or a dimension that we cannot see. Right. So when we're dealing with this Piscean energy here, it's important to know that we all have Pisces in our natal chart. Like, I don't care who you are. You have Pisces in your natal chart, which means you have your own relationship with the invisible universe. Y'all, we're about to get into some things right now. We're about to get into some things. And if you hear, I hope you're feeling wonderful and great. All right. So, y'all, when we're dealing with this energy of spirituality, transcendental consciousness, when you meditate, you want to go to transcendental consciousness, right? This is the power of Pisces, the, the invisible dimension. Um, this is also concurrent with new discoveries, new inventions, um, bring, especially when you listen, if you have Pisces with Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn, you are an inventor. You should be really, um, manifesting of your dreams and hopefully you're in the business of metaphysics. Because this is what this Piscean energy is like. All right. This is bringing, going into the hidden and the going into the mystery, right? When you go into the mist, you go into the mystery and you're able to demystify what's in the mist. You feel what I'm saying? And when you do this, you are able to uncover certain spiritual truths. But this really happens inside of you. All right. When you're dealing with this Piscean energy, you're going into inside of you, the part of yourself that nobody can see but you. And this is why it's important that you know that 
um, when you do the right inner work, you are enlightening yourself. You're bringing um, truth and the power of, of spirituality to yourself. All right. But it's important to know that. Um, y'all listen, we, we are in another, another age of enlightenment. I don't, I don't think nobody is going to say it, but if you look at when the age of enlightenment began, um, it began when Neptune was in Pisces and y'all Neptune has been in Pisces since 2012 and Neptune went into Pisces and, um, in like 1865, but Neptune really went into Pisces in 1685 too. And when you look at 1685 and um 1865, do you do you do you see the similarities right there? We're, we're dealing with the same energy. Now listen, y'all. Uh, make sure y'all pre-order my new book, Astrostatics. And if you're listening to this on YouTube, make sure you, um, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube and, and like the video and leave a comment and a share. All right. So y'all, um, Neptune was in Pisces in, um, 1685, maybe the beginning of 1685. And, um, during this year, th th this is what people call the beginning of the age of enlightenment. And, um, when you look at Neptune, y'all in my book, I, I got a whole keyword section in there for you. One of the keywords for Neptune is enlightenment and spirituality. And it's important to know that Jupiter and Neptune are together. So Jupiter is the planet of spirituality. And Neptune is the planet of spirituality. And both of these energies have a rulership over the Piscean energy. Now, when it comes to Jupiter, um, Jupiter also governs an aspect of philosophy. Y'all make sure y'all pre-order astrostatics because this is the expansion mechanism, right? When you tap into an aspect of spirituality, you want to expand. <laughs> you want to expand on your land. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying, baby? And um, when we go into Pisces, this is infinity. And what's important about infinity is y'all know that the universe is always expanding. The, the universe, y'all, the universe is always expanding. And your, your mind should do the same thing. If the universe is always expanding, what, what makes you think that your mind shouldn't be? Y'all feel what I'm saying? Always do new things. Always innovate on what you believe in. Pisces, belief. You, we believe in things that are not there yet. When, when, when we create the, the, that power and the belief in things that are not there, this is how you manifest and make things real. And this is why Pisces is, um, I believe, I, I think, <laughs> I say I think, but I think Pisces is I believe. Like, do you believe in your dreams? Do you believe in, in yourself? Do you believe in what's not there yet? Yeah, make sure y'all pre-order Astrostatics. You heard it. If I'm, if I'm on this app going in, Best believe, um, y'all make sure y'all run my pre-orders up and I'm mentioning my highly successful upcoming book every chance I get. All right. Um, so y'all listen, 1685 Neptune is in Pisces. This is a powerful thing because Neptune went into Pisces again. Um, I think during the Victorian era and during this time, you know what? Some people actually credit um, a, a, a century after the Victorian era with the real dawning of the age of Aquarius. Now, I highly disagree with that. But during that time, um, 
you know, of course, of course, religion always will have its place, but th this is when, um, you know, you, you, you had, you had, um, black, black people, f um, man, y'all, the, the slave, yeah, I don't, I don't believe in slavery, man, you know, but then that, that's the Pisces stuff. That's my personal belief. But based on the common consensus, the, the common consensus of history, um, they, some people say that during that time, um, you know, uh, the, the melanated people in America was fight, was fighting for independence. Um, but this fighting for independence, this would mean that before that Neptune was in Aquarius and I'm going to tell y'all something very interesting, right? When it comes to the exaltation of the outer planets, I, I think that these things might be um, very mutable because me personally, I think Neptune is exalted in three signs. You know, I don't, I don't think Neptune is just exalted in one aspect. You know what I'm saying? But um, Neptune and Aquarius, right? When you look at 1685 and um, 1865, in 1863 and 1864, and Neptune was most likely in Aquarius, right? So we, we really got to look at that Neptune in Aquarius because when we, when we go into Pisces, we're, that, we're leaving that Aquarian influence, but it's still there as we transit into the sun. You get what I'm saying? Like e even the people born there, eventually they would progress into Neptune and Pisces anyway. And <clears throat> what I'm saying with this is that um, we've we've been going through a, a similar time like that for the past 15 years. Think about the past 15 years, yo. Think about all the beautiful things you learned, all the beautiful things that you have. Yeah, make sure y'all pre-order Astrostatics, all the beautiful things that you have accomplished, all the beautiful things that you have manifested. And y'all, if you're in this, y'all listen, I don't know who's in this room, okay? But if you're in this room, please do not record me. All right, do not record me. Um, and make sure you make sure you follow me because, um, I'm gonna check the replays. And if you're not following me, but you're listening to, to this, to this game, um, you know, I, 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 I'm a, you, you, you're not going to hear my voice again. <laughs> so make sure you follow me. All right. Um, but yes, yes, y'all. Um, when we dealing with this energy, we really got to look at, um, that Neptune and Aquarius, because um, with Neptune and Aquarius, it can create um, the idea of of breaking illusions, or um, it, it can cause a lot of covert things to happen, right? And when you look at this during this transit, um, I think we had the Civil War, right, in eighteen sixty one, and. This is um also what you get with Neptune and Aquarius. Now the nep the the last time we had Neptune and Aquarius is very interesting because um th th this is this is when we had the 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 country began to shift. And when I begin, whether you call um it, call America a country or a corporation <laughs> or a LLC. <laughs> <laughs> or a, or a sole proprietorship. <clears throat> it's important to know that um it's all about your business. It's all about your business, baby. Um, but when we're doing this, there's an interesting line between business and the imagination. You feel what I'm saying? And during these transits. We're, we're always going to see how they manifest on a, on a collective level, right? Now, what's important, you know, um, some astrologers, 
you know, they're they're gonna start with eighteen sixty five and and work their way up. But if you know, we already did that. If you go on my YouTube, you could go back to like last year or two years ago. You know, um, we've been talking about this Jupiter Neptune conjunction, and um, you you know, it's 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 like old news a little bit. So that's why I wanted to bring it to 18. Um, I wanted to bring it to 1685. Because during this time, um, some people actually credit the age of enlightenment to actually go back 40 years before that. And what what when you think about it, during that time, we had Neptune. We had Neptune maybe in Leo, right? We we could have had Neptune in Leo or Neptune in Virgo. And um this was another very powerful time. Um this time actually set the leeway um for the Renaissance era. Um or the Renaissance era set the time for this era. You get what I'm saying? So when you look at what's been happening the past 10 years, we're, 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 we're in an age of enlightenment. This is what you get with this Neptune in Pisces. And then you got Jupiter blowing through there. Jupiter's going to leave and come back, right? So um, we're, we're, we're in this Piscean energy for um pretty much maybe like another eight months because then we're going to have Mars in Pisces and we also have Venus in Pisces, y'all. So we're, we're going to have a big Pisces party. You get what I'm saying? And during this time, this is when you tap in with your expanding spiritual values. You get what I'm saying? This is when you tap in with your expanding spiritual values. You're supposed to be having a lot of a lot of vivid, amazing dreams. And when it comes to spirituality, you define this thing for yourself. You, like some people, they going they going tap into spirituality and they're gonna be vegan, right? Um, some some people gonna tap into spirituality and they they gonna learn a whole other aspect of it. Let everybody be who they are. Don't try to rush because y'all yeah, spirituality is very personal. This is why spirituality. Y'all yeah, make sure y'all pre-order my new book, Astro Aesthetics. This is why spirituality is right next to self. And, um, and progression and pioneering because it's up to you to engineer this thing for yourself. It's not up to anybody else to define spirituality for you because are you not manifesting your own reality, baby? I, I, I thought I thought we was all doing that. You, you feel what I'm saying? But always remember, because you know what's so funny, when you look at anything religious, anything spiritual anything um i guess anything that brings enlightenment like look at social media right you got people out there that that help a lot of people out like you know right there I, i'm sure that uh most of y'all in this room learn something from social media or youtube right but you also know that you you got them scamming motherfuckers too, right? So the things that can enlighten you can also confuse you as well. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> and this is why it's very important that you have your own spiritual definition, your own, your, you know what I'm saying? Just have your own vibe with things, you know? Create your own ideas. Create your own definition of happiness. How do you, how do you instinctively know when someone doesn't feel right? When you're not supposed to be somewhere? 
Because I'm going to tell y'all this. Yeah, we're all empaths. Yeah, some of y'all are psychic. Some of y'all are gifted healers. But we, ha our powers work differently. The way your abilities work is not how my spiritual gifts work. Y'all, why are we talking about spiritual gifts? Because Jupiter is in Pisces. Jupiter is your gift, your abundance, your prosperity, your rewards, right? And Pisces is your spirituality. So during this time, and the sun is in Aries, right? We just had Mercury in Aries. Now Mercury is in Taurus, right? This is very important because um, using the properties of your imagination and just tapping in with, with the invisible world around you, 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 you could create a bag. You, you could create stability. Right? We when we when it comes to this Pisces, we talking about belief. Right? Belief in, in creating stability. Um, you know, get your bag how you get your bag. But just make sure that you're creating something stable. Y'all make sure y'all pre-order my new book, Astro Aesthetics. Make sure you get in your bag, you're creating something stable, something that's gonna last. That's going to benefit you and your loved ones. You feel me? And with this transit, Mercury and Taurus, the sun and Aries, Venus, Jupiter, Neptune, and Pisces. We're also going to have Mars come into Pisces within the next four or five days. Can you say Pisces stellium, baby? Can't Y'all listen. If you're in this room... <laughs> Can you say Pisces Steli, baby? <laughs> oh, shit. But yeah, because that's what we're going to um, be under the influence of. Yo, listen, y'all know I'm a Gemini moon. I, I could, I could I, you know what I'm saying? I could switch it up real quick. Because we're always under the influence of the stars. This is why I tell people all the time. <laughs> do you don't let nobody define reality for you you know what i'm saying sometimes you, you got people out there that that be hating on you and they want to low-key give you advice and shit it's like what the fuck how you how you gonna give me advice and and and, and you know what i'm saying i'm i'm creating my own reality Th this is why you gotta understand how your intuition reacts to bs you get what i'm saying and while you have this modality going for yourself um we have jupiter in pisces and this is understanding the invisible spiritual gifts within you <clears throat> because i don't care who you are if you breathe in especially if you if you come around me i know that there is something very special about you Right. And this is something that that you you know you've had it since you was a, a young a young child. I know some of y'all, y'all was probably mad young when your spiritual gift started turning on. Like I, I know me, I would I would see shit when I was younger and I would be like, yo, mommy, what is that? And my and yo, my, my mom Jamaican. My my mom is like, what a blood clot y'all chop about? <laughs> No, 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 I'm joking, y'all. Yeah, my, my mom is a Pisces too. So like I would I would like always just talk to my mom like when I'm having like some spiritual shit happen and she will understand me. But a lot of a lot of us sometimes we we don't we don't have that. When you are around certain people and you start learning your spiritual gifts, be, because because they lost theirs, or they probably got got scared with it. They, they start telling you, oh, you don't make no sense. Yo, you know, it's, yeah, you know, it's one of the most disrespectful things to do. If you have a dream about, yo, listen, I know some of y'all in this room are very intuitive, right? 
How much time? Y'all could have had a dream about something, right? And then you could have asked somebody, yo, like, I, I saw this in a dream. Did this happen? And then they tell you no. That's fucked up. Because you're, you're trying to trick them out of their powers. You feel me? You, you trying to trick them out of their divine gift. You get what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all pre-order my new book, Astro Aesthetics. Because y'all see that we so saucy. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Now y'all know that an element or an aspect of this Pisces vibe is it's also alcohol. All right, so during this time, you got to be mindful of if you know what I'm saying, it's cool to take a little shot, but don't overdo it. If you look at in these past couple years, are we it are we is the country not in a um drug epidemic? Right? Um we and y'all everybody in this room, I'm so happy that y'all all healthy. Thank you. Thank you all for being healthy. Um Right, we we just came out of a out of a uh, um that that pandemic thing, right? But there's also another another demic, um that is that drug epidemic, right? With a lot of people overdosing. But y'all, this is also Pisces too, right? Because Pisces is also drugs, right? And when you think about drugs, um, alcohol, right? When people do alcohol. We we associate it with our spirituality. When when people get high, they they're really getting high, going to other planes, going to the higher planes. Right? Yeah. Listen, if I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. You know, um, I'm a I'm a Pisces, so I I know we could be very imaginative, but this is why um I got to keep it real with y'all. Like, yeah, when people get high, they're, sometimes they can go to higher dimensions. Sometimes people get high and they see things that, um, quote unquote, are not there. But this is another aspect of um, your mind making things real. Y'all feel what I'm saying? And this is why when it comes to spirituality, when it, when it, comes, to, <clears throat> when it comes to enlightenment, when it comes to even wisdom, all of these things all operate on a Pisces frequency. And what I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all don't let nobody define spirituality for you. When you look at um, progressive errors, y'all make sure y'all pre-order my new book, Astro Aesthetics. When you look at progressive movements like... um like the age of enlightenment um you had people that innovated they had epic ideas and they innovated upon their ideas and this allowed us to create um a, a aspect of ingenuity for humanity you get what i'm saying like y'all during that time some of your ancestors was getting busy what you think? What you thought? Our our ancestors was under the influence of them transits, baby. And this is why I tell people one of the only ways to put history in a in a in a true <clears throat> um fault free aspect is to is to use astrology one of the only ways to get history in a actual working context um astrology is is extremely important for that you get what i'm saying so when you look at errors like 1685 it's kind of similar to the energy we got going on now This is why I tell people, you got to tap in with your quantum physics. 
you you got to because th this this thing is a uh, is you know it's all cyclical it's all it's cyclical it's centrifugal right at, at times it is linear it is straightforward and exactly what it is and then other times it's a it's a cycle you get what i'm saying y'all um now now y'all you know y'all that, that's that piscean energy right there and you know shout out to all my fellow astrologers too that's going in um on on the the 1865 aspect um but you know i i, I wanted to like go back a little bit you know what i'm saying and um i love i love seeing what everybody is doing you know because one of the aspect of pisces is helping um others understand the invisible aspects of reality you know um <clears throat> making make detailing the invisible for for others you know in a weird way Help, helping others um get understand the invisible aspect <clears throat> to a to a, a minute finite level you get me and when we when, when we when we talk about this pisces energy and you look at the you study the invisible your invisible reality you you realize that your, your invisible reality is creating the physical reality in a sense y'all y'all feel what i'm saying um <clears throat> and this is why it's important that you always have um, a positive sense of belief. And because when you look at Pisces, y'all, Pisces is the last sign on the chart, right? And this is why I tell people, especially in the real world, um, emotions kind of come last. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, emotions come last. When you look at the Zodiac, um, the fire is first. You get what I'm saying? That the the fire is naturally first because Aries is the natural. Yeah, make sure y'all pre-order my new book, Astrostatics. <laughs> Aries is the natural ruler of the first house. Right? So when you look at <clears throat> when you look at how the zodiac is arranged, um, it, it's arranged um in a very elemental pattern. And it, it's set up that this way because th this is um um a uh, a uh, energetic a uh, energetic guidebook on on how you manifest things. You when you want to start something off, you you gotta have that fire. You got you gotta have that that. Ooh, ooh. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta have that hot. You you gotta come off hot. You 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 gotta go for it. You gotta manifest it, make it real. And when you look at words like manifest, um, th this is a, a aspect of where you gotta ground. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get some grounding. You gotta discipline when you wanna manifest something. You gotta hone in on it. You get what I'm saying? You gotta wanna make it concrete. Um, not only for yourself but for the universe as well. You get you get me? Um but when we're dealing with this Piscean energy, I'm gonna keep y'all listen. Y'all y'all know I don't front y'all know I don't front with y'all, right? It, it's it's a lot of bullshit with that Piscean energy. It, it, excuse my language. <clears throat> excuse my language. But it, it's a lot of bullshit with that Piscean energy sometimes. And and one of the best things I could use is like if if like let, let's say you go on like a spiritual retreat with a group of your friends, right? Um some people they they going to see a lot of weird shit if they have in like a a psychedelic experience. Some some people going going to see all types of shit. And then you might you might have somebody that's meditating in a corner somewhere. You feel me? You you might have somebody that's floating in the air and shit. And I'm just using that as, as an example to show y'all when it comes to this Pisces vibe, 
um, you have the most divine things and you also have the biggest illusions as well. And, and th this is why it's important that like me, me being a Pisces, I always want to make sense of, I mean, you know, what? I'm a Gemini moon. So like, you feel me? Like I, I naturally just always review things. You feel me? But like, um, it's, it's, you know, just even like my Mercury is in Pisces too. You know what I'm saying? So like, I always want to challenge myself to, um, not, you know, sometimes not be so mysterious because that Pisces energy can be very mysterious. And um, wherever there's mystery, there's always a, a degree of where you got to use your higher senses to navigate. And that's why this Jupiter and Pisces time is so important for all of us. Y'all, um, th this only happens. And y'all, we, we have other Jupiter-Neptune conjunctions, okay? But they only ha they only happen once every one hundred and sixty five years within that time space, right? Every one hundred and sixty four to one hundred and sixty six years. That this is why you you always gotta look look at the the time that you're living in, and you know just celebrate it as much as you can, because. You you might I don't you know I believe that if you in here vibing out with me I know you I know you doing great in where in your reality you know what I'm saying like I want everybody to do great and um sometimes it it be the simple little things like looking at what's going on like yo we 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 about to experience a Jupiter Neptune conjunction in Pisces bro like th this is a beautiful time like y'all. The other night I had, uh, like I've been having some beautiful, amazing dreams, yo. If, if you in this room and you've been having some beautiful dreams, can I get a hallelujah? <laughs> can, can I get a hallelujah? Because, and listen, if you, if you, if you, if you ain't, if you ain't go, go get your, get your dream on yet just zone out yo just like before you go to bed maybe drink a drink a little bit more water than normal you know what i'm saying maybe meditate a little bit um you know maybe like just tap into something creative and 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 just let that energy go with you before bed you know you you could go on youtube play one of your binaural yeah if you're in this room Make sure you pre-order my new book, Astrostatics. Play your binaural beat. Um, and just just keep yourself in that um in that state of operating with your higher senses. All right, because look, when you have a dream, you're you are using your higher senses. But you you're listen, everybody dreams. But not everybody forgets their dreams. You get, y'all feel what I'm saying? So, you know, that the important thing is to ensure that you are um, remembering your dreams. What, what, what's going on with you in the invisible dimension? What, what, what's going on with you in the higher planes of reality? You know what I'm saying? And um, it's important to know that that the universe is going to um guide you through these things, and you know um, y'all, y'all listen. I'm telling y'all, if you're in this room, make sure you pre-order my new book, Astrostatics. If you go on my website up top, you you book a reading with me, you're gonna get a copy of the book. All right. Um, I'm only doing that for the people in this room. If you go on my website and you book a reading with me, I will send you a copy of my new book in a few weeks. When you look at Pisces, y'all, nobody, y'all, Pisces also governs symbology. 
Come on. When you when you when you have to symbolically interpret something, you have to use the higher aspects of your mind. What about <clears throat> when you like music? Yeah, my my favorite music is like funk. Like I listen to Mad Parliament, Funkadelic, and like old reggae and like mad indie rock music. Like like I listen to mainly like psychedelic rock, right? Every time I listen to Parliament Funkadelic. I always hear something new. You feel me? Like, I always... Like, that music... And that's what music does. Like, you... Y'all y'all think about Lil Wayne. Y'all remember when, when we was listening to Lil Wayne? Y'all, li Lil Wayne was tapped into some shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, li Lil Wayne was tapped into some shit. Because when you listening to his music... It's like you you hear him say something, and then three minutes later you'll be like, oh sh, oh sh, yo, you, you get what I'm saying? And even even Drake, Jay Z, J Cole, Nicki Minaj, like like all of these people are great. Kanye West, like these people are amazing because they they tap into um something else, right? And um. When you do this, you know, you, you, um, it's a very like magical thing. You feel me? And, and this is why if you even look at it, we, we associate symbology with magic. <laughs> you, you feel what I'm saying? We, we naturally associate symbology with magic and stuff like that. Um, but y'all, this is a very important time. I right? Jupiter and Neptune. 23 degrees to 24 degrees Pisces in 2022 and Venus is in Pisces too and Mars is going to go into Pisces in a few days y'all and and we have the sun in Aries Mercury in Taurus Uranus is in Taurus we got the north and south node in Scorpio and Taurus this is um a, a transformational shift on the imaginative on the imaginative level and um there's a lot of um vibes out there for us to to manifest and 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 create stable ground together as a collective but also as in y'all y'all know that when we when we're dealing with astrology it's all about um being an individual right you have your own natal chart all right, but right now Mercury is in Taurus, right? And as a as a collective, um, we're going to experience this, all right. But you're going to experience it in your own way, okay, everybody. But when we're um under this Mercury and Taurus aspect, this is all about stability once again. And remember how I spoke to you guys before about the the the, the importance of the zodiac, of the, the simple structure of the zodiac that we elaborate more on in astrostatics. Um, but there is a beautiful reason why Taurus and Aries um are next door, right? Um, and when you look at this, this is the the people think that Taurus is all about materialistic and um bougie. Right, P people be thinking that Taurus and Sagittarius, um, Capricorn and Leo is bougie, but you know it's so funny. You you got different types of bougie and introvert and, and introverts. Like when you think of Scorpios, we 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 don't associate Scorpios with um with being bougie. Um, but they might not want to talk to you though. And this is where you, you begin to like realize the difference in the energies, right? Like the, the way a, a Leo would be bougie, um, a Capricorn wouldn't be bougie that way. You know, um, one, one of them is all about self-assertion and creativity. And then the other one 
is all about status and um being at the top and being that executive. You get me? So you you have like the HBIC and then you have the superstar. You know, there the, these these two energies are both at the top, right? Like they're both um very extravagant. But the, the way in which they manifest that energy is going to be different. It's just like that when you're looking at a natal chart and when you're looking at your planets and your houses, right? So um, it's just like that with this sun in Aries. This is the, the focus on the head start. Where is your focus at? Um, for Where, where is your, your inertia? How are you going to assert your inertia? Um... And what, where is your mind at in relationship to stability? And um, it's going to be directly tied to how you value your resources and how you assert your value of time. And while this is going on, you have um, expansion within your imagination, Jupiter and Neptune and Pisces. Y'all, do y'all do y'all understand what's going on right now? How it's it's like a clusterfuck of beautiful, amazing energy. So so why 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 not just dive in it? That's like it's like if you go somewhere and you see a pool full of gold, you ain't gonna dive in that motherfucker. You 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 just you just gonna look at the pool of gold, and and you you are you just gonna watch the gold shimmer at you, or are you gonna dive in the shimmer? And be a shimmerer too. <laughs> Look, all I'm all I'm trying to say is that it's up to you. All right, you choose your view on on this thing we call reality. You decide how you want it to flow for you. You you want to be a winner, or you want to be a winner. Yeah, make sure y'all pre order on my new book, Astro Aesthetics. Cause y'all and and also y'all make sure y'all also go on my YouTube too. Um, make make, make sure y'all get friendly with my YouTube. All right. Um, subscribe to the YouTube if you want the link for my YouTube. Then um, hit me on the back channel, baby. All right. But y'all, let's proceed. <clears throat> next to um Aries, next to Pisces, we have Aries, right? So y'all. The, this Pisces conjunction, um, we've been talking about it for two years, but now that the time is here, you're going to see a lot of astrologers and a lot of people um, just start talking about it. But when you go on my YouTube, um, look, watch the Jupiter and Neptune and Pisces video. I made that last year, all right, because Jupiter and Neptune was in Pisces last year, but then Jupiter retrograded into Aquarius last year, all right? But now Jupiter is going prograde, which means that it's going direct. So y'all, even though we're celebrating Mercury and um, I mean Jupiter and Neptune and Pisces, don't 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 get too caught up in the illusion. Don't don't get too caught up in the smoke screen. Because Jupiter is going to be in Taurus in, by next month. Yeah, Ju Jupiter is going to be in Taurus by next month. <coughs> so, so, I mean, yeah, Jupiter is going to be in Aries. I apologize. I apologize, y'all. Yeah, yo, I told y'all th th this Pisces energy is like that sometimes. All right, don't 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 judge me. All right, <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah. Make sure y'all pre-order my new book though. But y'all, excuse me, Jupiter is gonna be in Aries next month. So, um, and it's very interesting that Jupiter moves very fast. So Jupiter is in a Jupiter is in Pi. Yeah, like I'm I'm already just like. In that Jup, you know what I'm saying? I'm already in my Jupiter and Aries bag. But um, this is why wait, when it comes to Jupiter and Mercury, 
Y'all, listen very, very closely. Where your mind is at, your abundance is going to follow. All right? And y'all, y'all, make sure y'all pre-order my new book. Because look, um, and make sure y'all get astrostatics. If you got Mercury and Taurus and then Jupiter is going to go into Aries, um, you, you should be assertive and direct about that. You, you should be assertive about how you're going to create stability. And, you know, um, I know y'all, the, the, the prosperity is, is, is within your dreams. All right. Make, make sure you're dreaming. Make sure <laughs> while you're dreaming, make sure that you scheming. <laughs> you feel me? And, and listen, when I say scheming, I simply mean manifesting. All right. Y'all know that we don't, um, y'all honestly, y'all, please don't get mad at me for saying this and don't y'all. I'm not trying to be disrespectful when I say this. All right. Like, yo, I really don't, don't want y'all to get mad at me for this, but like, I, I'm, I'm low key happy to say that, yo, like we don't got to do nothing illegal to like, you know what I'm saying? Like to create, like to, to, to do great things. You know what I'm saying? It's like we could do things like the right way. You know what I'm saying? Um, some sometimes, you know, like it might be a little bit not as not as easy as it may appear for others. You know, you you may have to push push a little bit harder. But um it's it's great, you know, that 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 you know we could create and, and this is because um our parents and, and our ancestors they, they, they put in a lot of work so that we, you know, that we, certain things we don't got to worry about. Like the, the things that some of, some of our parents was worrying about, like my, my parents coming out of Jamaica, I don't, I don't got to worry about some of those things. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's just like that for a lot of y'all, for everybody, the things that you worrying about your, you, your parents wasn't worrying about. You get what I mean? Um, and you know, just as, as like a, um, you know, a young person here in this country, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's, it's dope. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, y'all, that, that's why I'm like, y'all make sure y'all, um, pre-order this new book. Cause it's a lot of sauce in it. It's a lot of value in it. And, um, you know, when you pick up the book, you gotta, I don't know, like you might have to wear it with gloves because it's so saucy. Like it's so much drip in the book. You know, it, it's that quantum goo. Like, why your hands so sticky? <laughs> because it, it's a very great book, y'all. I'm serious. All right. So listen, y'all in this room. I hope y'all um see where we was vibing out with this Jupiter in Pisces and this Neptune in Pisces. I wish y'all all um positive vibes and y'all do great things and make sure that you're having beautiful dreams. And um, y'all, my offer still stands. Um, go on my website. Um, if, if this is your first time vibing out with me, go on my website, book a reading with me. And, um, I'm also going to send you a pre-order. I'm, you're going to be on the pre-order list with the book. And I also, um, you know, we'll, 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 we'll take, we'll take a real look at you, at your natal chart. All right. So y'all go on my website, the easy And my name is Lex and y'all are all epic, beautiful, great healthy, wealthy, and just dope. All right. Make sure y'all have a great evening. Take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And, um, it's all love always. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.